If you're looking for an escape to the great outdoors, the LSU Ag Center Botanic Gardens at Burden might be the place for you. Yes, they do have shade from these 100 degree days. As Twyla's Alexandra Kling shows us, it's full of blooming surprises for its guests year round. The LSU Ag Center Botanic Gardens features beautiful and colorful plants along with different landscaping. However, this place is more than pretty plants in a variety of trees. A lot of plant-based research happens right here. The LSU Ag Center encourages guests to get hands-on with nature right in the middle of the city. Senior Landscape Manager Jason Stagg says their Blushing Rose Garden is a big attraction on the grounds. It's a collection of numerous trialed roses that have performed well here. A lot of hybrid teas to get that great fragrance. Gardens aren't the only thing here. Director of the Ag Center Botanic Gardens, Jeff Keeney, takes us down a path through nature. We have about three miles of trail systems and when you walk on these trails you'll be able to see all of the different types of native trees. So you'll also learn about the natural Louisiana landscape and ecosystem. It's a shady walk and a great place to walk your dog. Their location lies in the heart of Baton Rouge with 440 acres on Essen Lane, right next to Interstate 10. Sometimes you can hear a little bit of the interstate traffic noise, but because of that location, we're extremely accessible. It's just that a lot of people don't realize what they're exiting past when they get off the interstate and turn immediately on to Essen Lane because the further you move back in the property, especially when we get back to Windrush Gardens, you're going to notice how much quieter it is back there. Windrush Gardens features the work of self-taught landscape architect Steele Burden, who is most known for his work around LSU's campus and around Baton Rouge. This property even includes other plants and sculptures that play a role in getting children exposed to the outdoors and gardening. And so we do have a children's garden. And in the children's garden, we also have a separate section called the pollinator garden. And uh, the reason why I love the pollinator garden is because it is so beneficial to so many of our native insects and the European honeybee. From very young to very old, we have something for everybody, whether it's families uh, playing in the pollinator children's garden area, the Oak Grove play area, or walking the trails with your family. Reporting from the LSU Ag Center Botanic Gardens in Baton Rouge, for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Alexandra Kling. The gates open at 8 a.m. and close at 4.30 every day. The Botanic Gardens are free to the public, but there is an admission fee to get into the Rural Life Museum.